Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play The Legend of Dragoon for PlayStation. My name is The Flightless Bird, this is your story based gaming channel, and today we're heading away from uh, the Barrens where we just lost our Firestone. I, there was another path here to go off to the right, but when I look at the map it looks like there's something off to the right up there that we're going to have to go eventually. So I'm thinking about just going to the left because left is always right. And seeing if the town is over here first. So uh, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today as we climb over the mountains here. Ooh, what's that over there to the left? I, I don't know where I'm going. So it's just one of those things where we're going to have to go both directions. And since we're here, we might as well go here first. I love the enemies in this game. I love the way they hop around and stuff. It's just so cool, and I am so hurt right now. Okay, we're off to a good start. That's good to see. Man, seeing that zero MP is just... Seeing the zero MP and the zero SP that we're getting, it, it, it's really, really disappointing and crushing and just heart-wrenching you know <laughs> it's like you want those you want you want it you want to see the numbers go up where are we fighting we got into a fight just as we got to whatever this uh place is here and as i said i haven't had a chance to rest or anything i guess i could go back through the barrens there ain't no way I want to do that. There was just heal needed. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Why do I keep missing the patchel? Okay, time to see what this area is. It's like flying rocks. The Valley of Corrupted Gravity. I know that's where I'm supposed to go. I think I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Hopefully the game will like stop me from going in a specific direction. You know what I mean? But then again, we also have this really strange thing where it's asking me for the disc. I mean, that may happen though. It may be loading off one disc and then, you know, I guess. I <laughs> All um, Yep, okay. It looks like it is going to stop me here. I'm not going to be able to go forward. That guard is probably going to tell me so. It's blockaded by the ordinance of King Zior. I cannot let anybody not having a pass issued by the court pass through here. It's blockaded. Okay, okay. So, yep, it is look like I cannot go this way. Do wonder... We never saw gangs here. Maybe it's because the gravity is unstable and it's dangerous beyond the gate. And we have nothing precious here. Beyond the gate, the gravity is unstable. It's so dangerous that even the gangs don't go there. Alright, well, I, I, I thank the game for this. There were two ways to go. And the game basically said, you can't go this way. And that, that clears up my question mark over if I'm going in the right way or not. And I like that. I, I I hate the idea of me going through a dungeon and not being able to proceed because something's blocking me at the end. I'd rather be told at the beginning something's blocking me. Push, push, die. More and more. And he bravely ran away, ran away, 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 bravely ran away. And what's with getting into a battle like a half a step from my destination? That's the second time now that's happened. Oh, we got the uh, the line guys here. Arrow shoes. They kind of look like Kukulans. Push, push, die. More and more. Mm -hmm. 
Please don't poison. Oh, crud. Thanks for not going faster than him, Hashel. So I don't think poison goes away at the end of the fight. And that means you kind of have to use an item for it. And it's one of my pet peeves about this game. It's really the only one so far that I can think of is the idea of how magic works. There's no easy way to use magic in this game. And so if you get hit like with something like this, you kind of have to use an item, but you only have a certain amount of items. So it's not like I can have, it's not like I can have like 90 of those potions and if I get poisoned, it's no big deal. No, I only have like four of those things. So if I get poisoned four times, guess what? I am screwed. Okay, uh, which way? What the heck? Okay, this doesn't make any sense. I was able to climb up here. You know, I bet you anything, I gotta go from the left side. It's like, I bet you if I go here. Yep, that's what it was. Still doesn't make any sense. What's recovery ball do? Probably uses a random healing item. I hate randomness. Yeah, it's Jeremy's recovery item. Probably end up selling that for something that I can guarantee to use. Am I gonna ever cure Rose, by the way? I don't think so. I mean, I'm just gonna hedge my bets that there's no longer any boss fights ahead of me until we get to the next area. Alright, maybe I should kill her. Darn it! What's wrong with you, flightless bird? Yeah, maybe I should heal her. Yeah, maybe I should heal her. And by healing, of course, I just mean defending a bunch of times. Man, this guy just loves to target her, doesn't he? Well, I can do something about that. Shut this guy down, good and well. That was an odd time for a counter. Trying to get Rose one more heal. And out. And I was also trying to get Hatchel one more point to his addition. I can't seem to do Hatchel's additions for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, it's a single button press, and yet I keep missing that single button press. I, I don't know why I keep missing a single button press. I, I keep doing it, and it's very vexing me. Probably 50 gold. That's that's better. I mean, I was complaining a while ago that we were only getting 20 gold in each chest. 50 is a step up. Okay, we're back on the other side to Roa, and that looks... Actually looks like a town that I'm here. Yep, it's Dano, the flower city. 
It didn't look like a town before. I just saw like the uh, the leaves or the trees and I didn't really know what was there. Well, welcome to Dano, uh, Eris' city. I mean, the flower city. Thank you. Oh, thank God. You don't look like bandits. The clothes so filthy at first I thought you might be. We really are covered in dust. It's natural that the girl would be mistaken. Don't stare at me like that. It's not that bad. We don't have time for fooling around like that. Hey, are you jealous? I am just concerned about the Dagoon spirit. Yeah, I am too. I am too. No! What are you going to do? We are deciding now. Yes, I expected you are one of the Sacred Sisters of Melissa so, aren't you? You have such a pretty face, don't you? Great, selling home will make us rich. Don't make a noise, it won't harm you. So somebody help. Lloyd? Oh, gentlemen over there, oh, please. Just go away, or you'll be sorry. Are you gonna get in our way? Please continue. What? If you don't mind dying. Why would he save her? You are the one to die. Arrgh! What did you do? Shall I continue? Oh, please wait. Uh, I don't know who you are, but thank you very much for helping me. It's nothing. Oh, please, let me at least have your name. It's Lloyd. My, my name is Wink. I'm a sacred sister of Millie Sisu. Oh, Lloyd. I want your baby to come back to me one day. So Lloyd seems to be a complicated guy, doesn't he? Ah, ah! Found one in the water. What well, five flowers? The city's name is really true. Oh, why'd you go, Lynn? We are having a wedding soon. It's possible I have to talk with the Garricks. Man, I don't want to advance the story. I want to search around. That's why I specifically went away for the flower girl. Who are you? Don't worry, we're not bandits. Really? There is something wrong, isn't there? We might be able to help. Tell us. Okay. It all started this morning. When I finished my errands and came home, Lynn was gone. In his letter, he says he's going to persuade the gang to pull themselves to know I'm supposed to wait for him at home. He left a letter. I have an idea. If I show this letter to the mayor, he might do something to help. The mayor is Lynn's father. Well, I see. Well, let's bring this to the mayor. You have to wait for Lynn here. Okay, thank you. Probably the letter from Lynn. Lynn is the son of the mayor, so if you show that letter to the mayor, he might be able to do something for us. Oh, Lynn, come back safe. Ah, oh, there are a lot of daily goods here. I shouldn't be staring at these. Uh, it's nice to have this on the wall. There are not in that bugs at all. It must be well taken care of. The sense of the decorator comes through. Well, fine flowers, the city's name is really true. Oh, 
oh, oh, don't want to go here yet. Want to fully explore the other area first. Since the bandits came, all the flowers are not doing well. A half a year ago, it was a joyful, agreeable, happy city, but... I wish there were no gangs. I hope somebody helps us. I think the flowers ate them too. Are you one of the gang people? The city belongs to us. If you want to survive the city, don't mess with us. Ah! Right, here's what I need. A lot of green makes me feel calm. My brother's with me. I'm starting to act as uh, his bodyguard. My brother looks big and tough, though. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid to go to that middle door. It looks like that's progress. The name Flower City is not just a name. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, I would like to go over there, but there is a scared person there. Eh, I don't know why, but the old bag is wandering around over there. The old bag is still wandering around. I wonder how long she'll give it up. <laughs> Actually, it looks like you turned to, like, watch her. It's a strange shaped dish. Is this normal at Tibura? Uh, so let's go to the bell. It should be good spirits. There are many over days. Uh, what should I do? I'm too scary to tell them to get out. What should I do? Although they say bars and bumps are simple, I wish it were only true in books. Uh, it's awful. Though it's good money, I want to quit. Just a rumor about a phantom ship is scaring up, but now we have a sea dragon making a mess. I cannot put my ship out of sea. Heck, wait, what's up with this phantom ship and sea dragon? The phantom ship is a mere rumor, but that doesn't make it less scary. I can't help it. Heck. Brother Garrick is too soft. He even tried to call him a crying brat. Heck. What is Brother Garrick thinking about? You should just take over this city, heck! So it seems like Brother Garrick may not be a bad guy. Very pretty. I love the sea, don't you think so? Huh? Uh, what is cool about the sea is, of course, pirates. Pirates! Pirates are made to come in, don't you think? We cannot put the ship out of sea since the sea dragon appeared. We've had to put the ship on land. I don't want to sit sail and see where the sea dragon is. I don't want to do something regrettable. I remember uh, I had a assignment in history class in college where my assignment was on why pirates are romantic heroes. And I came dressed to school in a pirate outfit with a pirate uh, bird like taped to my shoulder and a mask, and I was walking down the the campus, and people were looking at me, I was like, Ah, what are you looking at, Mimetes? And it was just so stupid and so fun. I had a blast that day. I got an A on the assignment. It was a lot of fun, but, man, just walking through campus with that wearing on, it was it was great. It's not only a sea dragon that has appeared in Elisa Bay. I wish I knew about One Piece back then, because I could probably have used One Piece in my presentation. So I think I used a Pirates of the Caribbean. Was that out at the time? I need you to move, please. I can't get past you. This is the way to the mayor's house. I want any suspicious people pass through here. You don't look suspicious. Go on. Okay, that's the mayor's house. That's the last place I want to go. I, w I could have swore that this place would have been the mayor's house. Just a church. It has went on a month since we uh, reported damage by bandits. Nothing happened and nobody came either. 
The horrific life will continue until the knighthood of Tibor comes. Zed's Pichu Pichu. Alright, well, apparently he's playing Pokemon in his sleep. A uh, gang's on the land, Sea Dragon Sea. The city is doomed, I tell you, Lord Bazamas! Uh, I don't know why, but the games gave me a lot. They don't have any faith. Uh, I don't want to have a quiet life. I mean, I want to have a quiet life. It's not, I don't want to have one. I, I want to have one. Endure the hardship, overcome the sorrow, and wait for the day when flowers bloom in our hearts again! Everything is asking by the gods. They take care of each other and get through this. Oh, my lord, almighty, let it be! I don't see anything back here. What's up, this sleepy guy? Okay, let's head to the right. And then once we explore all the way to the right, we'll double back around and we'll go to the mayor's house. I'm looking for the person who saved the life of Sister Wink. It seems it's not you. Please excuse me. You are warriors, aren't you? Have you heard the name Sister Wink? Uh, you don't know Sister Wink. Sorry, I thought you were someone else. It's a nice day today. It's the best day for laundry. I wish I could wash away the scum in the city too. Aww. Um, I'm, I'm not finding any other stardust. Pretty sure there's probably more in the town. I just haven't found any. This is the clinic, and there ain't nothing here. Now I'm not poisoned anymore. I already got that healed. I guess it's probably just an item shop. So, that's it? Fine, we'll let you, but only today. Let's go. It'd be cool if they were pawning off my stone and I could buy it back for like a thousand. No, I'm not like that would be worth like a hundred thousand. I'd be like, no! Uh, buy something. Uh, Wave Twister? I have three of those, two of those, two of those, four of those, I'm good. I don't want to see Palm Mob flattering gangs anymore. I'm sick and tired of this life. It's going nicely in the light of the window. Nope, no stone, unfortunately. A silver vest, which is an upgrade for Rose. And a tiara. Price hit rate of magical attacks by 10%. That's an upgrade for both of them. Did not mean to do that. Small buds. Okay, I, I have looked everywhere for more Stardust. I can't find any. Gonna have to continue on. I wish I wrote down how many Stardust I had in each area. Because going back and finding them all is gonna be a pain in the butt. Well, not so much. All I have to do is just go back to the previous places, but... Gotta be one here. It's sighted. It shows a person's personality. Really? No stardust? You cannot meet the mayor because he is busy. I'm sorry, come back another time. Can you take a look at this letter? Oh my, oh my, oh my. That this is. Well, please, come in. Brother, a whole thing has happened. It's about Mr. Lin. Huh? What kind of man would venture to face the Garrett game, uh, Garrett game by himself? I didn't know Miss Lynn was that consumed with. It was my fault for not realizing it. I bet Miss Kate is very stressed. You must go. As a mayor, I don't want you to be involved in any of this. Uh, we are already involved. The game took something very important away from me. Where did they come from? They are from the Valley of Corrupted Gravity, but we don't know anything about them other than that. 
That place is very dangerous. They said nobody could come back once they enter the valley. Butler, don't say that. Lin Lin went there. Now we have to gather the people to know and form a rescue team. And then what will happen to the city? The game might take over the city. Well, let us do it. You were planning to go anyway, weren't you? Oh, it is encouraging to hear that warriors like you are going. Now I can face those punks in our city with courage. Yeah, are you gonna give me something that I can go? I, I don't know how much people trust my word, but I will gladly do the best I can. I will be ready and fight against the game. We are counting on you for Lin. The mayor is right, we'll fight against the gangs. Are you gonna give me something that I can uh, use to get past those guards? And why are they all following me? That's super creepy. It's like they know that I'm trying to uh, steal stuff from their home. Look at that. Look at that. Look, look so distrusting these people are. Wow. How is there no Stardust in here? Hey, come on! Got a pixel on it seems sometimes. Hey you, Aki, how dare you touch my butt? Wait, what? That was silly, why would I dare to touch a butt of a kid like you? Whoa, 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 what's going on here? What did you say? Uh, I could forgive you to admit that I'm too sexy to ignore and apologize. What the heck? Huh? Is this your kid? Is this kid dreaming or what? I can't stand it anymore. Whoa! Okay, she's got to be a playable character, right? Ouch, you, you don't know who we are. I know. You think you can get away with it? Well, let me see. I think so. Well, boys. Darn, you'll pay for this! I won't be paying you. Doesn't she have... Doesn't she have a better way to say goodbye? Are you one of the get a gang? Do you want to smash you too? Well, that's a... That, that's... That's one of the, um... Uh, that's one of, like, the weapons that the guards were using. You know, early on in the game in Helena Prison? So it's like a giant hammer, the way she carries it. Platinum hair, the same as Lloyd. Uh, the wrist is different. Are you maybe one of my groupies? Hmm, you don't seem like it, though. You guys are some strange group of people. Uh, what's your name? It's Dart. Mine's Meiru. I'm the best dancer in to know. We don't have time for playing with a kid. I agree. We can't waste any time if we are going to help Lin. Sorry, but we gotta get going. You said Lin? Well, then you guys are going to rescue Lin? Uh, how did you find out about that? Because I heard it from Kate. But people in the city are all chickens, right? So I was going to make a raid on their hideout. Man, those bastards give me a hard time. I guess they didn't take me seriously because I'm alone. You know? A wink and a smile and a hammer. Friend Mayu, yeah. You know what? I'm going to go with you guys. I mean, that seemed like an obvious character, right? I mean, come on, she looks so different from everyone else. Hey, you don't need to make such a face. Just leave her alone. Let's go. Hold on, do you guys know where the hideout is? It's somewhere in the Valley of Corrupted Gravity, isn't it? Wow, how naive. You make it sound so easy, but you cannot go through such a smell of a mess. Kind of a place with a person like me who's totally knowledgeable and totally pretty, you guys. Besides, you need the permission of the king just to enter the valley. Don't you know that? Well, I knew I needed permission from someone. I thought the guy here gave it to us. What are we going to do, Dart? This girl is serious. 
Ah, what the heck? You can come. Oh, well, you can come. Yay! Are you serious? Oh, we could trust her intention to rescue Lim. Besides, we don't know the place. We might need a guide. Right. He's completely right. Now, let's go. Beautiful dancer Meru and friends form a posse for dealing with the Gay Witch Gang. And no, you're not in my party. And the reason you're not in my party is because you don't have a dragon with spirit. Kind of limits people what they can do or can't do. Uh, Meru, she's level 17, which also makes her the highest level character by a lot. Am I super underleveled, or is this just a thing? Uh, so she's level 11, which means we don't need to use her. I mean, level 17, which means we don't need to use her for a while, considering she's so much higher than anyone else. Uh, her additions, or addition, double smack. And five total additions. Oh okay, yeah, well she did tell me something I need to know though, which is that we have to go to the king. And you know what that means? That means we gotta go all the way back to the castle. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys at the castle, all right? We need the permission of the Tiboy King to enter the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. Have you met him? I think I met him several times when I was little. If the king remembers you, it'll be quick. That's our king. Dignity, huh? I am not going to reveal my identity. Seems like she knows it though. Or does she not know it? No? Well, he kind of says it right here. I am not traveling as the king of Sardio. I am traveling as a companion and Lavitz's friend. Uh, let's see. Castle. Uh, I do need to rest real quick. I want to hurt. Uh, I got into like four fights on the way back. And nothing really major, just four fights. Oh, oh, by the way, Dart leveled up. Yeah, I know, it's weird to level up on just a regular enemy, but he hit level 17. I uh, didn't learn anything now, so, yep. Hey, can you get out of our way? That guy is huge to <laughs> No way, no strangers could go through here. That guy's huge compared to everyone, in all fairness. Never? Never. That big man is blocking away. I'm gonna take care of that. hi -ya! Ouch! Uh, I didn't do anything. You bumped into me by yourself. You can't enter the castle by doing that. Hey, big belly. Why can't you, like, let us in? Hey, Al, you're a king. Can you, like, do something about it? Shh, that's a secret. Aw, uh, come on, Dart, do something. There is no way you can let us in. Uh, there are lots of minutes walking around. I was told to never let anybody in. Can we at least send a message to the king? Uh, you are pretty. What did you say? Oops, I am on duty. I cannot let you in. I cannot let any strangers in. Okay, that was weird. Like, what are we gonna do? Uh, should we break through? We are not criminals. We are like, break it through. I'm gonna whack that belly. Stop it, I was kidding. Yeah! What are you doing? <laughs> Ouch! I told you so. Uh oh. Don't treat them up. Just kick them out of town. Uh oh. Ah! 
It's no good. We have to think of some other way. Uh, see faster maybe? I think this was in as well. Cool. Uh, what is going on? Do you know? Uh, whether they're coming to each time when it will be held or not depends on Princess Emile. What is going on there? I have no idea. What is going on with Princess Emile? I'll be back in a while. Great. Ah, uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Every time Princess Emile goes wild, Princess Lisa cleans up for us. I'm real sorry, and I'm grateful for Princess Lisa's concern. Gentle, strong, and diligent, King Zeal is a wonderful person, though he is spoiling Princess Emil. But it's not like King Zero has, so it's spoiling Princess Emil too much. Princess Emil started to act strange six months ago. I was so appalled I almost fell over when I saw the princess marching around just a day after I had seen her being so graceful. Okay, uh, let's head to the to the tavern. Is it here or the one to the right? Nope, it's here. Got Kathy here. Don't want, don't you want to talk about something else like stars? How many times do I have to say it? I just want to hear about Stardust, not just stars. Hey, I have Stardust. I told you that. If I didn't know anything about it, nobody knows about anything about it. So why don't you talk about something else? Oh, it's you. Hi, guys. You know him? Yes, I do. You're back again. My boss is in, not in yet. You know what? I have a good idea. Here, she wants to talk about Stardust. Thanks. What was that all about? Well, I already told you about Stardust. Oh, poor baby. She started crying again. There's a good baby. Aww. I'm sitting here in this town for a while. About Stardust, when you get something, you can drop it off here. I'd appreciate it. It's hard to find Stardust, isn't it? I guess I know it, though. How about you? Okay, 15 Stardust. Thanks, thanks a million. In return, take this. It's a rare thing I promise you. How about that? Physical ring. And an amulet. We got two items. Thanks, Vince, for the next time. It's hard to find Stardust. I guess you know it, though. How about you? Oh, well, it's not easy, is it? But I won't give up. All right, let's see if these are actually any good items. Raising maximum HP by 50%. I would say that's very good. And doubles maximum B. I would say that's also very good. Because someone like Rose would go up to like 600 HP, which means she would heal faster. I mean, that's really nice. I wonder if that girl can use any of the stuff I found recently. Yeah, I can use the Morning Star. How about that? Finally, I found a use for that. Mace, no, cape, no, uh, jackets, no. Hey, are you from Studio? Have you seen King Fury? It's so amazing that you're gonna pee in your pants. The Queen Fury is a royal ship that belongs to the Tiburon Royal Family. It's not a ship we could go for rides on. Hey, you're back. What would you like? What? The value of corrupted gravity? We don't have such a cocktail. Oh, jeez. What are you talking about? You want to go there? I don't want to want to have mine, but just chug a lug up and forget about it. <laughs> hey, coffee. We're not that kind of bar. Sorry, I got balled out again. But if you really want to go there, you have to ask the king. Yeah, that's the problem. How can I enter the castle? Even with this hip cafe? It's still a mystery. She works hard but talks too much. 
So typical of her that when I say when she can't speak to her work, she becomes inefficient. Uh, and by the way, I do want to apologize if I sound weird today. I've had a constant stuff like throat and clog as of late. I am trying to do my best. But if I sound different or anything like that, yeah, sorry about that. I got this plant from Mr. Nello. The palm now is bandits around the plants. I can't enter. No, I don't think I've entered that middle house. Yeah, the one to the left there. I don't think I've ever been here before. Try the planetarium so that you can feel the holiness of the starry night. Great painting by Vince Van Gogh. Planetarium is located at the top of the stairs over there. Please take a look. I want to talk to everyone first. I will keep praying until the Princess Meal returns to how she used to be. Oh, Star, Star, please bring back the real Princess Meal. Although it's not that often, I still hear about incidents caused by bandits here in Flex. What a nasty world we are living in now. Princess Meal has been so beautiful, but from the time she was little, it's like as the moon shining in the sky. The bandits, the sea dragon, and the madness of Prince of Mill. This country is having one plague after another. I wonder what is going on. The pan. Okay. Wait, wait, he said something different there. Ah! Uh, maybe all of them are tests brought us by, by the star. Hmm. It's starting. Please enjoy yourself. Stars. Very pretty. So familiar, yet so sacred. Precious beings for Tiburons. Stars are floating in a faraway realm. They travel in the realm with the help of the light from their own lantern. What we call starlight is light from the lantern. Now, please enjoy our special star, Fantasia. It's very pretty. I hope you enjoy the sensational star, Fantasia. Was I supposed to look around when that was happening? I hope not. I hope I didn't miss anything there. I would have sucked. <sighs> Sorry, we can only date in a book in planetarium. That's life. Besides, this place still suits us. It's as if it's foretelling our fate. I won't give up. Someday I will be with you. We can't. Uh, you're just an usher at this planetarium, I am. But I want is not your money, it's your heart. I know, I know. Are we gonna be like Athena and come in and just kill the guy here for daring to profess his love in the ancient planetarium? <laughs> I don't know if anyone gets that reference, but I do. I believe they will understand someday. I love you. I love you too. Uh, oh, what are you looking at? Uh, are you looking for the plane here? This one is not working. Uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Hey, it's over there. Please that way. Now go away. Uh, just kick me right out. So naturally, we just go right back in. Sorry, we can only date. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Oh, no. Size place suits us. 
It's a forward telling our fate. I won't give up. Someday I'll be with you. We can't. I'm just an usher. And I want your heart. I know. Oh, help me. Please, don't leave me. I love you. I love you too. Hey! This is the second time you've done this. Show! Get out! Mind your own business! It's in a peep show! Move! 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 Alright, let's leave the uh, love bears alone. Fortunately, I am no closer to figuring out where to go to uh, get inside the castle. Well, that was the most pointless tour in existence. I walked out only to walk around. Oh, the planet, uh, the planet here Percy was talking about was a girl? Uh, I, I heard it was a guy. Hmm. Coffee at the bar is super chatterbox. I guess she could die if she, I guess she died if she could talk. I, I don't know where to go. I feel like I've been everywhere here. Yeah, I feel like I've been everywhere. No matter how many times you come, the answer is still the same. Nobody's allowed to go to the castle except those with permission. The only other place I haven't gone really gone is to click. Maybe the did I go the, the 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 door to the bottom right here? Not the one I said that was confusing with the uh, tavern. Yeah, I'm one in here. Alright, well, what am I missing? Uh, there, there's something here I'm supposed to do. Go to the bar. I have been to the bar. Uh -huh. Can I ask someone else about the castle? If I've come here as customers, I'll give you something extra. Okay, well, let me go look around and I'll be back as soon as I find what I'm supposed to find. Because right now I feel like I'm just doing circles. Okay, we just start naturally walking the shop and Fester is talking. Where are we? We're in the item shop. Yeah, I was supposed to advance the plot by going to the item shop. I would have never thought you went into a shop to do this. So, yeah, it, it took me a lot longer than I probably should have. <laughs> And the funny thing is, this is like the last shop he entered. So once again, this is the very last building I entered uh, to advance the plot. Not the first time in this game I've done it, probably not the last either. Hmm, it was a little expensive if I could have food. Oh, wait, oh, that makes sense. He's looking at the telescope. Oh! Oh, that makes total sense. Oh, Dart, are you looking for something? No, I'm not. I look troubled. I'd like to say I can help you, but I am a little busy right now. I'll be over soon. I need some materials on stars for my research. I have to look in a couple of more places. I have to go now. When I finish my errand, I'll be available. I uh, ask for whatever you want. Wait, wait, I need you now! No! Get back here! I need your help. Ah, uh, where'd he go? Now watch, he went into the other shop. I'm actually checking his house first. Yep, let's check the other shops. This is a gem shop. Nope, not in here. You know what I should do is I should just go right back in this shop. Nope, okay. Now let's check the castle area. Yeah, here he is. 
Oh boy, we went into each other again. Was your problem solved yet? No, I need help. Uh, yeah, I guess you're the only person we can ask, Vester. I see. Fine. I have finished my errand. You can come to my house and talk. Garage King, I see. I must have taken one of your most important possessions. You are thinking of venturing directly into the hideout. It's not just a memento, it means more than that to me. We're gonna rescue Lin, too. I understand. Shall we go to the castle? I can take care of it. I have a side business in addition to being an astronomer that lets me fully enter the castle. Like, what are you doing, Fester? Um. I is a governor. He is a governor. Yes, I am. You can enter the castle by mentioning my name. Oh, like, can't you answer some other way than that? I mean, that's so boring. You think so? It's time to go. Let's head to the Twig Castle. Follow me. Please, we don't want to make a special uh, social misstep with His Majesty Zayora. Let's go! Finally! Progress! Please don't want to make- Yeah, I know, I know, but first thing I got- Cannot go that way, Dart. Because again, explore the castle. All right, I'll be a good little boy. Send me even walking instead of money. I'm here, your majesty. Oh, Fester, please take care of my dear Princess Lisa for today. By the way, I think I have some problem with my eyes. I see many Festers. <laughs> King Zeo, there's only one of me. These people are my friends, Your Majesty. Oh, indeed, there is only one Fester. And what is their request? We are here to request permission to enter the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. Hmm. Uh, Fester, I think I've heard of the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. Was it my imagination? King Zior, your ears are fine too. These people need to talk to the Garage Gang, so they would like to go to the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. Oh, you too. So me did that valley not have an E on the end of it. Well, one day a young man named Link came to me for the same reason. It seems being a daredevil is becoming trendy nowadays. We are not going there for a picnic. You understand all the risk? Fine. Servant, bring the pass for them. Well, that was easy. Try pass for the corrupted uh, value for the corrupted gravity. Be careful. I appreciate this, Your Majesty. It is late already. Why don't you relax at the castle? Yeah, it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Why can't point and click adventures be this easy? I am going back to work. Princess Lisa's studies are going well by are are going well, very well by herself. All right. This is the way to the chamber of the sun. King Zhu is there. Praise the sun. And of course, I'm just gonna you know, wander around the castle as much as I like. He did tell me I could stay here for a while. Not only Prince of Meal, but also King Zero has been acting strange recently. Also King Zero. Hmm. The Star Tower is there. I cannot let anybody pass without permission. Aww. 
There's a parks room for nights in the back. It's not open to the public. That's the world dining room. We cannot go in. Man. Hey, what are you doing here at the moon tower? Nobody is out there. Oh man, I can't go anywhere. Y'all stink. Big fuddy duddies. I don't swords off limits unless you have permission. Now probably the past kings of Tibor. They all look dignified. Hey! We found a soda. How about that? Excuse me, Majesty Albert. Ooh, someone knows who we are. Ladies made Libya. I am Libya, the ladies made for Princess Lisa. Princess Lisa, have me call you in your company. Princess Lisa knew of a visit. She speaks with the stars and knows the future. Astrology no shows her the way. This way, please. Well, what is going on? Hmm, we will find out when we meet Princess Lisa. Welcome, Albert, the King of Sodio. I'm Lisa, the youngest sister of Emil. I invited you here because I have a fear to ask of you. Like, hey, wait a minute. How does she know he's a king? Well, Albert was talking about it a moment ago, wasn't he? Princess Lisa found out about it through astrology. Wait, hold there. Where the heck is astrology? Is the telling of a person's fortune from the location of the stars? Haha. <laughs> He has such amazing friends. Huh. 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 Hmm. Uh, please continue. It's about my sister, Mia. What has happened to the princess? I cannot believe that's a normal cell. Well, it's sort of half a year ago. Back then, my sister, Mia, was very kind, and my or everyone in the kitchen mad to her. It all started when the two of us went horseback riding. Suddenly, my sister Emile's horse bucked and ran away to the forest. What about Princess Emile? It seemed that my sister lost consciousness and couldn't control the horse. I chased her with my vassals. My sister was on the ground in the forest. Fortunately, she didn't have any injuries. Everybody felt profound relief. However, when my sister Milk came too, she was a completely different person. Everyone says it's because she hit herself on her head. However, something more than her language and attitude was wrong. It was as if she was a different person. So, like, replaced? Does anybody doubt the change? How about King Zior? No, instead he was happy to see my sister Milk become so active. I heard you were heading to the Valley of Corrupted Gravity and I have a favor to ask. I would like you to find out about the relationship between my sister Mille and the Garrick gang. The relationship between Princess Mille and the Garrick? Tibor appears to be peaceful, however we are having a serious problem. It's infested with bandits. I like to know it's totally awful now. I know. How oh, it used to be different, yes, until half a year ago. But it was the same time that Princess Mille began acting strange. Astrology also says there is some kind of relationship between my sister and the Garricks. And one more thing. The stars told me, never hand over the moon. My sister will celebrate her 20th birthday soon. At the ceremony, the Tibor National Treasure, the Moon Dagger, will be passed down to my sister, Mille. I assume the moon refers to that. Yep, I would agree. The second divine moon object. It's linked with Lloyd. I had to find out the truth before the ceremony about the relationship between my sister Mille and the Garrick gang. Would you please look into this for me? Uh, of course we will. I know all the dots are my thing, but of course we will. We will. We have no reason not to because the original intention was not to, uh, was to pursue the Garrick gang. Thank you. I appreciate it. I didn't want to be right soon, your highness! I was already that late. I forgot about Fester. I left in my room. I am expecting you there. Lady Zero also said to invite everyone. When you're ready, please let me know. I'll take you to the dining room. Like, I was totally right about coming with you, Dart. I was expecting these things to happen. Wait, wait. I'm looking forward to it. I wonder what I can feast on there. Huh. 
<laughs> kids. <laughs> No comment is allowed here. They always want to me. She, she's like. Are right, you ready for. Oh, I had to talk to her. Oh, please wait a little. It looks like something may happen at dinner. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. And considering we're already at about an hour, I think it might be a good time to pause. Yeah. Uh, I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. All of them, one YouTube community, all YouTube. And I can't thank you enough for everything that you all do. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And I'll see you again very soon. And until then, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.